how to remember stuff, or everything I needed to know about acing exams I learned from Herman Ebbinghaus. As a student, you may think you know what studying is. All over the world, students right now are working hard trying to memorize their lessons. However, our brains actually evolve to forget things as much as to remember them. All sentient beings need to forget most of what they experience and retain only the most important memories. Think about our hunter-gatherer ancestors. They might have noticed many things about this scene, but for hunting purposes, the most important thing is the group of elephants by the river. How do you hunt an elephant? That's something our ancestors would have wanted to remember. Their cave art shows us how important memories of big game hunting were to them. Notice they only recorded important information. They wouldn't have memorized the exact position of every tree on this landscape. Those details could be safely forgotten. In the history of psychology, Herman Ebbinghaus was the person who began to measure and quantify the forgetting process. Ebbinghaus had no university position, and he used himself as his own experimental subject. Ebbinghaus wanted to know how long it took for people to learn and forget new unfamiliar facts. That posed a problem for him because he was testing himself. If he created the learning content and then tested himself, it wouldn't be unfamiliar to him anymore. To get around this problem, Ebbinghaus created lists of over 2,000 nonsense syllables. He memorized those lists and then tested himself over time to see how quickly he forgot them. He found that immediately after learning information, forgetting happens quite rapidly. Over time, the rate of memory loss tapers off, but at that point, most of the information has been already forgotten anyway. After about a month, Ebbinghaus found he generally forgot 90% of the material in a list. One way to overcome this problem is a practice called spaced repetition. If you repeatedly relearn the material, the rate of memory decay is slower. Memory still decays, but if it's relearned again, retention rates improve. This is called overlearning. Each repeated learning session makes it easier to retain the material for longer. You might think you're doing spaced repetition when you're studying for exams, but that's usually not true. Most students learn the material once, then just before the exam, they refresh their memory once. They cram too much in at the last minute after they've already forgotten a great deal. That is not the same thing as overlearning. Reviewing material at the last minute doesn't improve your ability to recall information on the test very much. There's a difference between being able to recognize things you've learned before and being able to recall that information on an exam. You want to study to improve recall. We experience the difference between recognition and recall all the time. We often recognize people, we see their face, and we know we met them somewhere, but we can't recall exactly where or what their name is. When you read and reread material over time, as most students do, you repeatedly familiarize yourself with it. In other words, you get good at recognizing facts and concepts from the course. However, exams don't require you to merely recognize what you've read. The point is to recall the information at a time when it's not in front of you. Exams test your powers of recall, not mere recognition. It is possible to master the material in this course by practicing active recall skills throughout the semester. For example, after each lesson, you can take the key facts you learned and turn them into your very own personal quiz questions. Then a week later, quiz yourself or get a friend to quiz you and see what you recall. If you've forgotten something, relearn it. This is a great way to study together with classmates, although you can do it yourself too, like Ebbinghaus did. Over the course of the term, quiz yourself repeatedly with your whole big growing stack of questions. Relearn what you forgot as you go along. By exam time, you'll have had lots of practice at answering questions about the material. And of course, that's what exams are all about. You'll recall the information effectively because that is the key skill you've been practicing. And you will have overlearned material you might have otherwise forgotten, just like Herman Ebbinghaus would have advised. Thanks, Herman Ebbinghaus, for helping us ace our exams.